I really want a grilled cheese right now, but we just started this, so we have to keep going. Coming at ya. Coming at ya. Hi, what is up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be painting my old shoes because I got new ones, the exact same pair, because these look dirty and they're creased, but instead of getting rid of them, I decided to paint them. I've never painted Air Forces before. I painted Vans recently. I put that on my TikTok. Not to like plug myself or anything, but follow me on TikTok. It's Ali Arbacus. So instead of ordering expensive leather paint, I ordered markers from Amazon. It says they're compatible with leather, which is leather shoes. So since I've never done this before, I googled how to prepare Air Forces for painting. Because when I painted my Vans, I literally just did it with fabric paint. I just went for it because I don't wear Vans. I was just bored and wanted to see if it would work. But with these, I actually kind of care. So I googled how to paint Air Forces, or not how to, because I already know how to paint. How to prepare Air Forces to be painted. And step one is to clean the shoes. I don't even know if you can tell from where you're at, but like I definitely have to clean them. So it says to just use dish soap and water and a soft cloth. So this is my soft cloth. And here's my dish soap and water. I would tilt it to like show you, but then I would spill it, so. And these laces are dirty AF. Haha, <laughs> AF ones, get it? Haha. <laughs> Gorgeous! Okay, that looks so ugly. Finally, I got the laces out, so I think in order to clean it, um, I think I'm just going to dip the rag in the solution. Does it look clean? I think it looks clean. I don't know, these actually weren't that dirty. I was kind of being dramatic when I was like, oh, I had to get new ones because these were dirty and creased. They are very creased, yes, but they're not actually that dirty. Now we're going to do the other one. So after you clean them, the next step says to let them dry, but I'm impatient, so I'm going to use this towel here and um, dry them. I think my shoes look pretty clean, so I'm satisfied. Step two, use sandpaper to remove the protective finish from parts of the forces that you plan to paint. So I have to sandpaper everything. I have sandpaper right here. Okay, I don't like this. I think it's actually scratching the shoe up. So we're gonna skip step number two and we're gonna move on to number three. Okay, I can just paint it now. I'm about to sneeze. <coughs> Bless you, thank you. Okay, when I did my Vans, I drew it in pencil and then went over it with my markers. You know, that way if I made a mistake, what shoe should I do first, the right one or the left one? I'll do the right one. Beautiful. I know you guys probably can't see, but that's your problem, not mine. I want to spice things up. I really want to use pink though. It's like a magenta pinkish color. Left or right side should be pink. Left. Wait, yeah, left, because I draw my hearts starting from the left. I kind of don't like this. Guys, I don't know, this color might not have been it, but it's like way too late to change colors, you know? I hate it. I hate it. Look, now that you can see it, you're probably like clicking off the video. But you know what? We're going to try to be positive because this was my idea in the first place. Nobody said I had to do this. I love this. I love painting. Even though I'm not good at it, I love it. How do people do this for fun? I'm getting so frustrated in the way that after I finish this shoe, I still have a whole other shoe to do. Like, how does that work? What color matches this? Like, would it be cool if I did orange? Oh, shoot. The orange just got stuck, so that's not going to be in my best interest to use this because it doesn't work anymore. Yellow's kind of a vibe. Purple and yellow. Actually, these yellow markers kind of sucks. Oh, there's gold. That might be cool. It kind of looks like poop, actually, but 
Purple and red? No. The gold is just so ugly though, but like... Alright, we're going with the gold because I don't have anything like it, so... I don't know, now I'm starting to think it gets easier as I keep going. Does it look good? I think I just went blind, I can't see anymore. I think I'm gonna like it, but I'm gonna let my camera rest while I do the other side because this is boring for you, I know, I'm sorry. Two hours later. I'm back. It's still the same day, it's just a few hours later and I'm so tired. I should finish the shoes now so I can like wear them sooner rather than later. So next what I'm going to do is paint the eyes on the hearts. Hold up, I'm gonna do one back here where you guys can't see, so that way if I mess up. This actually looks really good. Here, can you see it, the little footballs? They're eyeballs, but it's like the shape of a football. That's cool, I didn't know I was capable of doing that. So now I'm going to put the dots on the eyes, you know, like the eyeballs. Okay, this doesn't look, it doesn't look that bad, right? <laughs> so here's what it looks like. Does it look good? Okay, honestly, like, I think it doesn't look that bad, but if you look at it up close, like, if you're paying attention to detail, you're like, oh. from a distance, like, in some fit pics from very far away, I think they will look all right. I want to start to outline, like, the seams, and I had an idea to do one shoe all gold outlines and then the other one all purple outlines, so I'm going to outline this shoe... No offense, but wow. Okay, wait, this part's kind of fun. I'm just so tired. I woke up at 5.30 today. That looks so freaking cool, the gold outline. Ooh. Okay, I just finished it. Truthfully, like, I genuinely think I did okay. But, like, people who actually make shoes and sell them are gonna say it looks like a third grader did this. I personally think I did good. I'm gonna turn the camera off to finish the other shoe. I'm doing the same outlining but in purple. And then I will turn the camera back on to give you a look. I finished them for now. I just have to clean them up tomorrow, like make the edges a little bit cleaner and then obviously relace them when they dry. If we zoom in, you can tell that there is a little bit um, like it kind of looks uneven when you zoom in and you can tell, but from far away they look kind of cool or whatever. I kind of did that. Tomorrow I'm going to put on a fit with them and wear them and give you an example of how they look on my feet. So then we can truly decide if they look stupid or not. So the first outfit is an everyday type thing because it's comfortable. It's just a hoodie and then some sweatpants, but it matches the shoes very well because the hoodie has gold. Then I also did a gold beanie just to be like extra, but it, it really matches because like the gold is the same, you know? This is completely different from the last outfit. It's some purple. 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 Um, I don't know what these are called. It's like corduroy, but it's not because it's like soft. And then I tried to incorporate gold in the shirt as well. So I did like this little cheetah print shirt it's like tan but that's like basically gold so like as a fit it all matches this is a little bit more of um, a going out type outfit it would be great to get like some lunch with some friends or um it would just be great this is the final outfit i've put together and this is actually something that you could wear any time of any day ever actually you would probably only wear this for instagram pictures because there's a lot going on but i have a t-shirt over the turtleneck here with some black ripped jeans and then we have our shoes right you are wrong if you think this doesn't match because i think this is my favorite one. Okay, period. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you liked this video. I am so glad I was able to give you outfit inspo at the end because, you know, that was just very well deserved. Very unnecessary because this is supposed to be about me doing my shoes, but I went a little bit overboard and I gave you a whole ordeal there. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you thought the shoes turned out okay. I still think it looks like a third grader did them, but I'm also proud of my work because I've never done that before. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Check out my other videos. Maybe even subscribe to my channel if you're feeling generous. That's all I got. See you next week.
Hold the camera still. I had an itch.